If you've ever had those awkward moments when your body seems to be sending you mixed signals, whether it's during urination, ejaculation, or even in the bedroom, then trust me, you're not alone. This video is about to unveil the secrets every man needs to know about his prostate health. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Eric, a doctor of physiotherapy, and I specialize in men's health conditions. Now, spotting these prostate signals early on can be an absolute game changer for your overall health. We're talking about optimizing your performance both in the bedroom and beyond. So take a seat because we're cutting right to the chase. Now, the first thing you should keep an eye out for is a weak urine stream. Now, imagine this scenario. You're at a restaurant or you're at a sports event standing at the urinal and instead of that strong confidence flow that you're used to, you're faced with a feeble trickle. No matter how hard you try to push or tense up, there's just no boosting the power of your stream. This lackluster flow can drag out the time you spend at the urinal waiting for your bladder to fully empty. Pretty frustrating, isn't it? Now, I come across this issue nearly every day dealing with middle-aged men. And our conversation often goes something like this. Eric, back in the day, I could practically hit the urinal from a couple feet away if I wanted to. But now, it's like someone has put a kink in the hose. A weak urine stream serves as one of the initial signals that your prostate well, it might be experiencing trouble. And ignoring this sign can pave the way for a whole range of other problems down the line. Needless to say, it's a warning you'll want to take seriously and to go get checked out. All right, moving on, let's talk about something that might make you a bit uneasy, seeing blood. Guys, if you notice blood in your semen or your urine, it's definitely something you should not ignore. Even though it might not always mean there's a problem with your prostate, it's still a sign that you should take seriously. It's a good idea to get checked out by a doctor to make sure that everything is okay down there. Now, I had a patient once who had this happen to him. He told me about seeing blood in his semen and naturally, I quickly told him to go to his doctor to get this checked out. Well, it turned out that he had been a, uh, a bit too enthusiastic with self-pleasuring himself that day. Six times to be exact. That caused a blood vessel to burst, which led to the blood showing up in his urine. So just a little heads up, try not to overdo it when it comes to self-pleasure, or you might end up making a trip to your doctor's office. In short, if you see blood where you shouldn't, do not wait around, get yourself to a doctor as soon as you can to have it looked at. It's better to be safe and to get things checked out. Uh, early for the sake of your health. All right, moving on to sign number three, taking forever to empty your bladder. Have you ever experienced that feeling when it seems like forever to finish peeing? It's like time has suddenly decided to creep along as you stand there in front of the toilet, waiting and waiting. Well, this could be a clue that something's up with your prostate. You see, an enlarged prostate can play a role in a traffic jam, causing a bit of a roadblock for your urine flow. Now, it's as if the process of starting and finishing becomes a bit of a struggle. All right, let me share a quick story about a patient that I had who attended an ice hockey game and during the intermission, he dashed to the restroom. Little did he know his bladder had other plans and he ended up stuck there for so long that the folks in line behind him, they started heckling him. Imagine the embarrassment. T -t -t Today, Junior? Now, for a guy wrestling with a sluggish bladder, there's arguably nothing worse than that. So, if you find yourself spending more time than usual in front of the urinal, it might be time to pay a visit to your doctor. Getting things checked out could help you dodge those awkward waiting times during your next night out or sporting event. All right, before we move on to number four, I want to invite you to join our crew. I create new videos every week covering stuff that all of us guys go through in life, like prostate issues and erectile dysfunction. Now, if you stuck around this long in the video, well, you're already part of our gang, so let's make it official. Please go on and just hit that subscribe button below and also click that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos in the future and it's free. I really appreciate your support and I want you to know that we're on a journey together. We're working our way towards 100,000 subscribers and we're doing it as a team. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's dive into point number four, 
Picture this, your day is filled with constant interruptions, a nagging urge to urinate that persists even through the night, disrupting your sleep. You're not alone. Many of us men can relate to this frustrating scenario. And it's more than just an inconvenience, it's a direct blow to your productivity and the quality of sleep that you're getting, leaving you weary and oftentimes drained of energy. You know the drill, you visited the bathroom, you've emptied the bladder, and logically, well, there shouldn't be anything left to release. But here's the kicker, your brain insists otherwise. It's as if there's a persistent signal, an insistent call that tricks you into believing that you're in dire need of release once again. The rush to the bathroom becomes an all too familiar sprint. Now, we all understand the strangely soothing ritual of spending a bit of extra time in the bathroom for a number two. It's almost a therapeutic break from the hustle and bustle of life. A few minutes to yourself, a moment of solace. But let's be real, running to and from the bathroom to urinate, that's just annoying. So if you've noticed an uptick in those annoying dashes to the bathroom, well, it's time to listen to your body. It might be sending out a clear message. Your prostate could be demanding some attention. And as fellow guys, we know the difference between a leisurely retreat and an aggravating routine. So let's take a step forward towards restoring the harmony in your bathroom visits and regaining control over your bladder's demands. All right, moving on to step number five, which is painful ejaculation. Now, intimacy is meant to be a pleasurable experience, but what if ejaculation becomes associated with pain? It can turn moments of joy into moments of worry and even discomfort and can discourage you from being intimate altogether. Now, painful ejaculation during either self-pleasure or sexual intercourse is a symptom that can accompany prostate damage, and addressing it promptly is crucial for your sexual health. Okay, let's unravel this story behind another crucial sign, pain or stiffness in unexpected places. The groin, the hips, and that often overlooked lower back. Join me as we dive into the intricate web of the human body where discomfort isn't just an inconvenience, but a silent clue that might be echoing from an unlikely source, your prostate. Aches and pains in the groin, hips, or lower back, well, they're not uncommon, but when these discomforts persist or worsen, it could be related to your prostate as these muscles all attach around your pelvic region and, well, they're also common referral pain sites. Now, the proximity of the prostate to these areas means that inflammation or damage can lead to pain or stiffness that radiates beyond the prostate itself. Look, for most of us men, we're not always the best at raising our hand to go and get help when something doesn't feel right. And I'd be a hypocrite if I told you I didn't do the same thing, but I'm trying to get better at this and so should you. Just think, by catching a problem early, it could save you so much grief and possible rehabilitation down the track. So if an ache or pain starts to worsen or refuses to go away, please go and get it looked at. All right, let's dive into the realm of numbers, introducing sign number seven, a significant step toward maintaining your prostate health. Now imagine it as a conversation with your own body, a way of decoding its mysteries. This sign involves a simple yet crucial act blood work. Specifically, we're looking at a tiny marker called your PSA, which is short for prostate specific antigen. It's like a secret code that can unveil vital insights into your prostate's overall well-being and health. Okay, here's the scoop. If your recent blood test reveals a higher than normal PSA level, it's your body's way of whispering a message. Now, it's not a definitive diagnosis, but it's a nudge that something might not be up to scratch. So think of it this way, it's a signpost urging you to pay a visit to a healthcare expert for a closer look. And hey, let's chat about PSA for a moment. If you're a man over 40, regular checks are your proactive armor. Let me illustrate with a prime example, prostate cancer. Now prostate cancer can be treated if detected early. Now gents, here's the game plan. It's time we band together. Let's have a heart to heart with all of our friends, our kin, all of our buddies because self-care isn't a solitary endeavor. Prostate cancer doesn't play fair and it has snatched away far too many of our own. But here's the silver lining. It's preventable and it's treatable. Now the magic of a prostate check, well, 
It's a brief 10 minute encounter, literally a blink in time, yet it holds the power to safeguard your future. So please, let's decipher the numbers, let's unravel the code and make those 10 minutes count. All right, moving on to sign number eight. Don't worry, we're almost there. Now this sign, well, it's all about urine retention and the inability to fully empty your bladder. Have you ever experienced the feeling that your bladder is never truly empty, no matter how hard you try? Well, urine retention or the inability to fully void your bladder is a common symptom of prostate damage. Now, you might even notice that you have urine dribble in your underwear when you go to zip up your pants after peeing. It can leave you feeling uncomfortable, incomplete and frustrated, and it's essential to address this issue promptly. Now, sign number nine is difficulty starting the urine stream. Waiting and straining just to get the urine flowing can be both physically and emotionally draining. Sure, you might have a shy bladder as a large percentage of men do. However, if these symptoms have uh, been worsened recently, it requires your attention. Difficulty initiating the urine stream is another sign that your prostate may be damaged. Now, this symptom can be a clear indication that it's time to consult a healthcare professional for further evaluation and guidance. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room, erectile dysfunction. While it can have various causes, sudden onset of erectile dysfunction can be related to prostate issues. The healthier prostate plays a vital role in sexual function and any damage or inflammation can impact your ability to achieve or maintain a solid firm erection. Now, the safest bet is to go and get a checkup with your general practitioner or urologist as soon as possible if you're noticing problems with your erectile function. Also, for those of you men watching that are struggling with your urinary issues, such as incomplete bladder emptying, urine retention, or if you're preparing for a prostate surgery, or even if you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, I offer guided one-on-one -on -one consultations entirely online using video call consultations to help you rehabilitate and recover from your men's health condition. Now, if that's something you're interested in, you can check out my website, which is listed in the description and in the comments below to read some of my client testimonials and to also learn a little bit more about my one-on-one -on -one men's health coaching. And remember, regardless of your situation, keep going and I'll see you in the next video.